Well then, hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. And you wouldn't believe it, today I'm going to share with you guys uh, Burn Aggro. Now, I'll be honest, I have been purposely avoiding doing a video on Burn Aggro because we are getting nearer and nearer to the next patch and I believe that this deck might get affected. But we'll have to wait and see. Regardless, it's still a Jeep deck to play. So if you're looking for that little, you know, that little gap before the next patch comes out, if you're not aware, I believe next Tuesday is going to be some balance changes. Keep that in mind. This is still a ridiculously cheap deck. My list does feature a singleton copy of Jinx. You replace it for Decimate if you want. I was testing out Jinx as a one-off to see if I couldn't cheese out some of my opponents. But as I said, I avoided doing this video because simply we all know Burn Aggro. We've all seen it before. Like even if you don't watch YouTube content or watch videos or even watch Twitch streamers, You've played against it. You've played. You've played Runeterra. You know Burn Aggro. So I'm not going to be labeling this as a guide or anything because honestly, part of me believes that mastering a Burn Aggro deck or aggro in general takes a bit more forward thinking than you might think. It takes some very specific timing, some very specific decision making. That uh, the decks can be easy to play. You know, you play your dude on turn one. You play your dude on turn two. But it takes a special kind of someone to really plan ahead, forward think, and understand the resource management behind it. And if I'm going to be honest, that is not always my strong suit. But regardless, I think the more interesting part of this video is going to be the fact that I had a ton of mirror matches that really caused me to start thinking more in depth about the cards and the value of each individual card, especially in a mirror matchup. I think that's going to be cool to highlight here. And I could use, um, I could use you guys' help, you know. Could use your feedback, or could use your comments, because this is something I'm really curious about when it comes to mirror matchups. Regardless, um, enjoy the games. We'll be seeing you very, very soon. Oh, and one more thing. I encourage you, of course, if you don't mind, uh, curious, what rank are you in Rune Terror? Leave it in the comments. All right, let's go. I wish I played Broom Cookie. Of course I'm ready. And we should open attack next turn. Unless he puts himself under three mana. Or uses up all his mana this turn. So he can still use Thermogenic Beam. I, I could develop this turn. I think Thermo Beam is the only way for him to deal with Boom Kuroki effectively. I'm gonna... No one's the wiser. I'm gonna play some dudes. If he clears it with a Thermo Beam, I get to do a lot more damage here. So instead of doing... Backfired. Yeah, this is worth. In the end, instead of doing three damage, we're now doing five, six. We lost the boom, Kuroki. That was kind of inevitable. We need a value. Yes, card like this is perfect. So we can lead in with the disciple here. Let me show you what I can do. He can maybe drop a get excited. I wonder if I'd commit a blood transfusion. Flash of brilliance. Let's recycle for the get excited. This is essentially two damage. I'm gonna drop it onto the uh, Grenadier in case he has Thermo Beam. Maybe I could have considered going for this too. Either or is fine. Mm, he finds a unit. We've got uh, how much mana do we have here? We got, got some mana here. 
Here's an important turn. I'm leaning into developing here. In I could also get the guaranteed damage off these two. At least off the saboteur. Spring does not pity winter. Why would he not deal with this card? I'll let that go through for now. I'm gonna play a dude. He's sitting on a... What seems to be the problem? I could have transfusion there and possibly push more damage. I'm gonna chill for now. I'll wait for him to do some reaction plays so I can use blood transfusion. I'll play Jinx now. I'll be able to level her up if I need to. Perhaps I just chill for now. Yeah, we got we got we got plenty of plays here. We should be able to sort out lethal. Interesting solution. You need some pretty nuts cards. You cannot escape. Guess okay, so how he deals with this. Nice that. We have decimate though. Oh, he's just dead. Not too bad. I think um that turn where I uh would have used a transfusion on my Legion Grenadier to pass it along to my Pet, fearsome pet, precious pet, sorry, could have uh, actually been more efficient. Should be fishing for a one drop here. Ideally one that can deal with the, like, precious pet would ideally be one of the best finds here. I'll take Saboteur. There's Precious Pet. So if he develops a rear guard, we've got like the ultimate card against it. We've got the ultimate card in general on the defense. Actually. Since I'm no way going to be tanking that damage. I'll be getting the saboteur onto the field. I think I will. Okay, swing here. Yes. So in this matchup, I think the used car salesman becomes a bit of a liability. We're still going to develop Boomka Rookie here. Wonder if I should have developed the Precious Pet to actually play around his Boomka Rookie as well. So I could have been pushing more damage. I can do this. So now we can take a block into my guy. 
we'll see. He's gonna 100%. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked about this play. I guess HP is an important resource in this matchup. And we are slightly ahead, but we are down a Legion Saboteur, he's only down a Precious Pet. Let's say he develops like a one drop here, first of all. I'll play Car Salesman. Boom Crew Rookie. I think we have to go Car Salesman here. It threatens the good trades. Car Salesman's here is actually really insane, especially if he wants to follow up with a one drop. This saves us a lot of damage. I think we kind of won this turn quite effectively. We do want to chip down some of these dudes. I'm making a mistake here. We want to chip down you. You, and then that can go like that. To me, this feels extremely worth. We are down on HP, but we can come back up. I'm gonna lean into the rear guard first. <sighs> See what he develops here. Coming in hot. Decision making. Decision making. Transfusion's a card. I'm gonna go for the precious pet here. And hopefully he hasn't got a two drop. Disciple specifically. But I think this is the line I wanna take. No one's the wiser. Let's see what he does here. I think we still just swing with everything. Saboteur can only block the precious pet. I don't know if he wants to take two damage from that. He may value getting some of the bigger units off the field more though. Got a pretty bursty hand. It's a tough turn for him to block. These are pretty effective trades, I guess. Try me. Sure about that? It's hard it's hard to justify blocking the rear guard. Should be a bursting from hand. Moving into sight. Better mean. I think we have an edge. I think our decisions we've made have been okay so far. Floating two mana here is pretty spectacular too with the hand that we have. So I think with a hand like that, floating mana is good. We can burst him from hand if he drops below X amount of mana. Hello. Just gonna put this here. You break it, you buy it. So, because with, with the amount of mana that he has... Yeah, I see, I see the lines here. Is he leaning towards here? Let's double transfusion. I might have to lead resort to a weird play here.
Not seeing forever feels correct. kill me so I should develop the grenade deer I think so I can just go for the open attack or I could just decimate now there's no combination of cards that can beat us that's not true actually I think the most realistic line to take would be to go decimate and unfortunately, I there's some hands I can't beat. But it's very like how often would it be that he has Noxian Fervor in hand alongside specifically Mystic Shot? Pretty unlikely. I'll take my chances here. I think it's just the right decision to make. It's like so obvious. I'll test my luck here against the very specific hand. Double Noxian Fervor can get him there as well. But that's also pretty unlikely. We can do this actually. That should be a win. The get excited in hand, I didn't consider that his best align would be Noxia Fervor on the um, Saboteur. So this is a really uh, five-head play, I think. Very close game. He might have won that if some decisions were different. We, it might not have changed it because he um he did block the boom crew rookie at a uh, point in the game when he took six to the face from used car salesman and rear guard obviously he wanted to get the boom crew rookie off the field at that point but maybe it was just too late every single point of damage per turn mattered pretty happy with the way we played that game even if I lost it I think I was still pretty happy Kuroki in the attack token. I'd really like to hit a one drop. Very important, but I will keep the boom crew because I'm a bit greedy. With the regard opener, which gets punished probably the most by a one mana two one. It's not uncommon for them to have cards here. Okay. See what he develops this turn. If he plays two one drops, if he plays a one drop first of all, I'll probably play Grenadier. Contested. Plays a uh, two mana card. Actually, I think Grenadier is probably the best line here. But he misses the two drop. Is he passing it back to me? For mind games? So for him to not be sitting on a two drop, he'll probably have a three drop, which could be a used car salesman. So if I develop, boom crew, I'm gonna go boom crew here. He is actually a god. Double one drops feels pretty good. Uh, the Precious Pet's great because if he plays used car salesman here, I can get around it. I'll still promote the Grenadier. And there's realistically no point in swinging with the Boom Crew other than pushing damage. He can't block the Precious Pet with any of these guys and he can chump block the used car salesman. I'll still take the swing here. He'll obviously do this, it's fine. This block is pretty obvious. 
Time to go. No refund. Could have also played my own used car salesman, but it's gonna get better later in the game. And if even if it does. I can now play my used car salesman this turn to try and punish his attacks. I think I'll be using my Grenadier to block the precious pet. Static shock gets a little bit done here actually. If he does static shock, I think I just have to um It's more valuable. Slips on. It's unlikely for him to have a one drop right about now. So I'm gonna mystic shot this. Makes for a pretty good open attack. I'm gonna skip this block. Even though I could have uptraded with the Boom Kuroki, I value that little points of damage. Go as far as to utilize my car salesman this turn so I can get some decent blood transfusions. Although it, if I force him to use um, cards going into my guys, I'll very much take that. So we'll swing like this. And we we'll use a transfusion to clean up the turn. He buffs his disciple with his own transfusion. I save my car salesman. So transfusion is an awkward card for him right now. Bit of a five up play. So I have to make a choice here. Our hand size is getting pretty whack. I'm going to choose to preserve my minions, negate some damage. Since the precious pet's going down anyway, I could have saved him, but I'm losing these guys already. So I'm going to at least get the disciple off the field and maintain my Boom Crew Rookie. His hand size is tremendously better than ours though. It's a pretty poor draws here. I can't block with the rear guard, so there's absolutely no point in me playing it to the field right about now. War Mason, reporting for duty. I'm gonna try and preserve cards here. I think he has transfusion though. Be taking four damage, and I could be taking two instead. Or if I don't do this, you'll kick my ass. This is the line I choose to take. I can't afford to do that. 
I think I'm just gonna hope that I find maybe Jinx off the top. Something like Static Shock. And realistically, I don't think he has Transfusion. He probably would have used it there. I have to do something crazy and not hit the Legion Saboteur. I think I can't afford to have that go down right about now. Hey, Faint. How you going? <laughs> Hope you're having a fantastic night. It is uh, pretty late for us. You could have lethal here. I think I played okay this game. GG. On stream, flexible in terms of the day. Sure, let's organize that. I like the idea of it. I was just thinking, um, cause I'd want to turn it into uh, YouTube content as well. I'm, I'm trying to work out because obviously we can't multi-stream. Our rear guard openers are pretty insane. Multiple one drops, I think are really strong for us. I want to turn it into a YouTube content, but I need to work out how to like, um, Turn like your card hand here, your webcam on the same screen. I could work it out though, I'm sure it's not too hard. It just required for me to like download footage and then crop footage. I think it's pretty easy, but I think it'd be cool to have a multi person view. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play my precious pet. Yeah, I'm down with that. That sounds like a fun idea. Be nice to have a change of pace. Hello, Analyzer Gaming. How you going, buddy? Ah, uh, it must be super late for you guys. It must be very late for you, Analyzer. Oh my god. We got stream my life, dude. We just are uh, out here, wacky sleeping patterns. I'm very much a fan of multiple one drops against the deck. This. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty strong here. Just we'll swing. Agreed. Yeah, I want to start doing more stuff like that. Of course, dude. Sounds like a great idea. I'm glad you brought it up. I'm glad you. Thanks for going out of your way to message me about it too. I appreciate that. I was actually talking to GDA Maverick, seeing if he was interested in collabing on a quick intro for me. So I was going to do a deck uh, on my YouTube channel for his uh, recent Shadow Isles Fiora deck. But he's a busy man. I sent him the idea. He said, how long will it take? I said, give me 10 minutes of your time, dude. I haven't heard back from him. He's probably asleep. He's got a really funny time. So GDA Mavericks uh, from Australia as well. He's like living in the same time zone as me. And, uh, but he's like, he's streaming at the times that would best suit uh, a, a more specific audience, a more wider audience, I feel. But I try and stream it <laughs> a decent time for myself, which is not tending to be as good as a time for everyone else. Um, I like to play a 2 mana 2-3. Yeah. That can hopefully sway him off attacking a certain way. Precious pet. That's actually really strong for him. He'll swing with everything. Like, that's what I'd do, right? <laughs> um... Boy, what do I do here? What do I do here? Do I block like this? Let's get a good look at you. Interesting. Are you editing YouTube vids? Takes a bit of time, doesn't it? Even if you're doing simple edits, even if you're doing like a very simple edit on a YouTube video, it requires a very, very much precise, like you're going through your video, um, cropping, cropping out some fluff, neatening it up, getting things a bit more on time. I know there's some tips and strategies for actually avoiding that kind of time wasting, but uh, I don't tend to absorb that information in. Like there's some people when recording their videos, they like, 
like do little signals throughout the video to like kind of um notice along the video line if they see like a jump in audio they've left a timestamp for themselves and they can use that as reference that's a uh, next level strategic video making sorry kobe i'm sorry kobe buddy i think i just go for us I go for a stake shock here. I clear two minions, possibly. Blood transfusion. Oh. Shit! What do I do here now? My first initial thought is not to swing. So he wants to develop some dudes. Probably pay for Fiverr for the intro and outro. I have a, I had a bit of an older outro I used to use. I don't currently use it anymore because I rebranded recently. I wouldn't mind getting a new intro. I got one made for like $10. That was like really, really nice. It was very simple, but it looked very professional. Like it looked like the animations in it looked like super out there, but yet so simple. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Swing. Should block into the demolitionist here. Sure I think this is the line. So I have a single copy of Jinx and this is the perfect scenario when I, where I wanted to see if it become kind of relevant. It's a bit awkward that we have Decimate in hand. I think I might be running too many copies of Decimate for a deck like this. I get ruined by a blood transfusion but I don't think I can afford to not swing, alright? I have to like pressure him a little bit. I can't beat Blood Transfusion. I don't think that's a card right now that it's going to do much. I'll have a crack. Even Noxie and Fervor is quite strong here, but I still need to attack. I don't beat Blood Transfusion. Could be setting up some sort of lethal here. Still gonna play a dude. He open attacks. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough burst spells in hand. There may have been a chance here. But not with this kind of hand. Not with two minions here. I wouldn't have survived the Darius attack though. This doesn't provide enough damage. I mean, there's a slight chance he might misplay.
Oh. I wonder if I had have pinged the Jinx. He wouldn't have used that though. He sees that... This could be a way for double lethal. Yeah, this makes sense. I was thinking that he may have made a mistake, but this is correct. I believe he made the right move here. What I should have done was probably use this on the Jinx. And maybe he would have attacked in the wrong order. You did attack in the wrong order. Okay. I just want to kind of bring this up in case people don't quite understand. That, let's say that turn... You should always swing with the Darius here first, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, let's say for example, I um, pinged the Jinx with the Demologist. I would have still had a Grenadier on field. Um, I would have used a Grenadier to block one of the Boom Crew rookies. Wait, I'm dead to these attacks anyway, so I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's fine. GG.